I'm here with Colin from Warlord, Hi. and you have an exciting title. I am the head of finance and systems. Finance and, and systems, that's not, not gaming systems. No, no, no. Financial accounting systems. Sweet. Yeah. Now, they are giving out the prizes behind us for the various events. Very so loudly. Round of, rounds of applause keep happening. It's not for us. <laughs> um, now, uh, we, we were at Warlord Day pretty recently. Yes, yes a couple of We've ago. covered a lot of the releases, so there isn't a, lot, a great yeah. deal new to say, but you're going to just show us a little bit about what that is. Well, we've released uh, Gentleman's War, which is the new Desert War starter set. Nice. The new bolt action starter set. It comes with the... Uh, the new Humber and the new uh, armored car, the SKZ222, uh, which uh, everyone's rather excited about. I actually put the Humber together last week. Uh, I'm going to paint that up this week, so I'm quite excited I mean, about that. Our guy John, we, uh, Stallard gave us one of these at oh, yes. the Open Day, oh, okay. and he put it together without instructions. Now, not without mistakes, I would say, but <laughs> yeah, it was yes. still a serviceable model, so it's, it, it, you know, it must be pretty straightforward to put together. Yeah, so, yeah. Very, very. Uh, uh, that looks lovely, and uh, certainly adds to the uh, to the British and the the German sides. People have been after that uh, German armor car for quite some time. And the two 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 in yeah. twenty eight mil, really yeah. nice. Because it sees service right the way through, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. There at yeah. the very beginning, it's like a nineteen thirty six design, right there till the end. Really nice to see. And so, those Britishers in their shorts, knees to the enemy. That's how well, real men know, fight a war. But it it's, <laughs> it certainly was. Um, Iconic, the desert. Iconic, world, you know, yeah. An yeah. iconic period. The Africa Corps, Rommel, and um, the Eighth Army with um, Montgomery. You know, yeah. Great time. So. Field Marshal Bernard. Field Marshal. Uh, but sort of moving moving on from that, then, we've, we've got, got some so, other new sets. That, that, so we've got, and these are new, new, new. So these are the new Italians that we've released. So we got the Italian Army in black shirts, and there's also Italian, so that's a starter army, comes with a tank and some infantry squads and some port squads. Yeah. We've also got the new Battaglieri. There's actually an army. Uh, an army set there's for a, that there's as another well. one of these, yeah. We've yeah. got them, we just haven't reviewed them yet, but we oh, will. Uh, the guys with the floppy hats running around. Yeah, the so the, troopers. this is so Italian army, that, that's army. Black shirts, they're the Italian equivalent of the SS. They're the political troops, right? I Not wouldn't say nicest. necessarily the equivalent in all ways, um, but they're the, they're the kind of fascist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, the they're politically the party. reliable, is, yeah. is what they've got going on there. And this tank kit. You say it's a tank, but it also makes the Semavente self-propelled gun, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's one of those dual kits. The interchangeable this, one. One with this, and then the Berzaglieri. These are the guys, if you're wondering what that is, they're cock roll feathers. Because <laughs> um, that's manly, right? Apparently, it was to keep the sun out of their eyes. Oh, they're really? Because they're all snipers. They're all supposed to be hot shot. Oh. Right, so they're just like so, in a yeah, was to keep the Gary Oldman Fifth away. Element. Yeah, that is honest. what I've been told. That's, I I, that sounds apocryphal to me. <laughs> it does. Um, but these are their elite alpine troops. Yep. Yeah? Correct. Correct. So, uh, and there's si significant formations of them in Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There there's were lots there's of them. multiple divisions of them. Yeah, very. And popular. many of them recruit from the Tyrol and the Alps. So they will make a good army. They will make an exciting you get this, army. And it's basically the same box, but swapping out the infantry units. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. That. And then we've the got a number of little support. But these are new cute packs. Yes. Well, we're trying to be uh, environmentally friendly as well. Right. So we're we're sending less air. Yeah, you're so sending you get, less air. So yeah. even though they are smaller, you're getting the same volume of troops, the same quantity. Yep. But we're packing them much tighter so that it's taking up less space when we're transporting them. So to, so to show you, um, flip that round. It's what you would expect. There's a machine gun team, a command team and a mortar team, uh, which is pretty much all the core support units. Yeah. And yeah. When it is, sometimes you get a medic, something yeah. like that, and that you might be a in, spotter as well. In the, and a spotter for yeah. your mortar. Um, so that's bolt action. Mm. Um, and this is stuff that's out now, which Correct. is available. You can now, I've been selling these at the show. Selling these at the show, you, you can get along. You can order these from modelingforadvantage.co.uk, by the way, guys, if you're in the UK. Um, but in the stuff that's been announced, Warlord releasing that's relatively imminent, we've got Hail Caesars entering a new Friday, edition. Friday's got the new edition was announced on Friday. Yeah. Pre-orders now. Uh, there were 200 special bound copies signed by Rick himself. 
So about that, that handsome young man, Rick Priestley. Oh, uh, the handsome chap that he is. And the new Hail Caesar is pushing further into that high medieval stuff, isn't it? Correct. There's yes. coverage of Wars of the Roses, which wasn't yeah, in there before. He's expanded the, the, the period up to pre-Civil War and the, uh, the gunpowder yeah. period. So there. there's a smoother transition to Pike and Shot than perhaps yep. there was before. That gap's been filled there. Um, and I think, as I understand it, it's more of a, it's a, more of an updated edition than a, it's not a complete rewrite. I, I believe so. Yes. yes. I have not read it myself yet. I'm waiting to get my hands on the copy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have pre ordered it. It's not one. even been printed yet. No, no, no. It's well, it's with the printers now. And, and uh, with that, having a look on your on your website, the pre orders, there's gonna be a new starter set. Yes, but well, it is with the existing model. It's gonna be with the existing Celts and existing Romans models, the Britons and so uh, we are we're just repackaging that. But yep. it's coming with the new Hail Caesar 2. With the new rules. Yes. And, and for anyone that's interested, I had a look at it. I, I believe these are your Caesarean Romans mm. rather than your Imperial Romans. Correct. Yep. They're a little bit bigger. Mm. They're a little bit bigger, which looks nice. Big lads. And then the American Civil War pl hard plastic sprue, which is well, shot we, on Warlord we, Day. We first uh, released Epic, we only had the one sprue. Yeah. In many colours. Uh, it's, it's exactly the same sprue. Works perfectly for both sides. Yep. Um, and then we were we wanted to see how well that sold. Yep. And whether we would um, expand the range. Yep. And we did bring out metal zouaves. Yep. And cavalry. And um, we've now decided, given how well that went, we would actually go the whole hog and do another sprue. Mm. And that's now gone into the starter sets as well. And so, on that sprue, I think there was zouaves and there's cavalry. There's dismounted cavalry. Uh, there's the cavalry, so that's all down in the plastics as well. Yeah. So the the new starter set uh, doesn't have quite as many sprues, but has a mixture of sprues. Yeah. Uh, and that's a cheaper price. And yep. then there's still a big Gettysburg starter set, which is yeah, because there's, there's a new set and there's yes. much more r range from small, medium, and large starter sets yes, now, right? That's right. Whether so you want the rule book, scenery, both sides, one side, yeah, yeah. all so of that, that kind of stuff. That's coming out because that, that was one of the things about the Gettysburg set. It's like a hundred pound entry point. Now, you probably do need that many figures, but you might not want to get them all at once yes. when they're all one sprue. So is that, is that likely to be, I think that might be on pre-order, is it? Uh, what, is it likely to be available before Christmas? We've revealed it. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I think the uh, tooling's being done. Right. So that's ready to go. So it's just a case of getting them knocked out the machines and then boxed up. The artwork's all done. Uh, and then we'll just get them sent out to the uh, traders and get them on pre-order. Nice. I'm sure there's loads of other things that you can't talk about, but maybe we'll catch you at a future show. Which, where will people find Warlock? Which show are you going to be at next? Well, we've got two more this year. We're at um, we're going to the Stockton on Tees Battleground, and then we've got the last one in Leeds, and that will be it for the. Essence. Is that Fiasco? No, no, it's not Fiasco. It's not fiasco fiasco. Was, was a couple of weeks ago. Right. This is this one in Pudsey, I think. I'm, I'm, right. Okay. Uh, that's a smaller show, and then that's it for this year. There are no more shows. Mm -hmm. And then they all start again at the end of January yeah. uh, and February, and then obviously salute in April. Salute in April, that's going to be the big one, right? Absolutely. Hoping maybe you'll have some big reveals there. I all right, guys, that was Warlord Games. Thank, Thank you for watching. Much. Cheers, love. Bye-bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.